Hi, I'm Marie Grunfeld, and I'm a manager here at City of Sleep, and I have a guest today. Dory is our respiratory therapist. Thank you for joining us. And Dory's going to talk to us a little bit about compliance with CPAP. As uh, you may be aware, sleep apnea is a very, very serious health condition, and we uh, provide CPAP for patients that have sleep apnea, and we want to make sure that they get the best result. So today we're going to talk a little bit about CPAP pillows. Hi, Dory. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Dory, can you tell us a little bit about your experience with patients that have CPAP and what you recommend to get optimal compliance? In my experience with CPAP users is that when they use a regular pillow, they're going to have mass leaks because if they move to their side, their mass will move to the opposite side, causing leaks and obviously causing sleep discomfort. So what I would consider every patient, every CPAP patient to have is a CPAP pillow and that will improve their CPAP compliance. Uh, what side do most of the CPAP users sleep on? Well, they, they toss and turn, so they can start in the back, on their back, and then obviously they're going to move to their side. So it could be either way that they would be using their CPAP. Okay, so they're tossing and turning, and they uh, could start in the back, on their back, but to get comfortable, sometimes they move to their side. And I think one of the things you were telling me about earlier is that uh, there are mask leaks because of the movement of the CPAP equipment. Uh, what about the tubing? I think you had mentioned something about the, um, the tubes get tangled. What, what's your yes, experience with uh, that? Many patients come to me about their tubing and mask getting caught on the regular pillow. So that's when I would recommend the CPAP pillow because it has a feature of the cutouts and obviously when you do move to your side, um, that's where the tubing and the mask will fall out. But this is one example of a CPAP pillow and it doesn't quite look like a regular typical pillow because it allows for the tubing uh, to drop into this indentation. Dory, can you give us an example of what you show the patients when you tell them how to use the CPAP pillow? Okay, so how I tell them to use a CPAP pillow, obviously when you lay down and you go on your side, obviously um, your mask and the tubing will fall here. So you won't have any um, mask leaks causing the, other, causing the mask to move to the opposite side. So this would be a good example of how to use your CPAP pillow. Okay, great. And uh, for the back users, what do you tell the back users how to use this? Um, just pretty much, well, just like a regular pillow, you're just going to keep it like this. And obviously, if you do decide to move to your side, well, you're going to have the cutout area that will help you. Okay, that's great. So just to recap, the CPAP pillow in, uh, provides more CPAP compliance. Sleep, CPAP sleep comfort. Sleep comfort. And it will reduce the mass leaks, the mass discomfort, and obviously it will reduce the tossing and turning. Right. And the mass leaks is very important because we need to have a secure uh, mask to make sure that the pressure from the CPAP equipment gets rid of the sleep apnea. Correct. Correct. And sleep apnea, as we all know, is very, very dangerous because basically there's a cessation of breathing at night and that could potentially be life-threatening. So I want to thank you, Dory, so much for explaining to us and giving us a sample of the CPAP pillow and how it helps for patients that have sleep apnea. The next video that we're going to be talking about is how do you choose the correct CPAP pillow. At cityofsleep.com, we have a full array of CPAP pillows, and we're going to highlight a couple of our best sellers so you know what it is you're getting when you order a CPAP pillow. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. Thanks, Dory. Thank you. And good luck with CPAP and using the CPAP pillow.